I'm Scott Walker and this is Walks on the Wild Side. Welcome back to Walks on the Wild Side. I'm in Norfolk today and I'm here to photograph seals. Uh, we get a lot of uh, seals in Norfolk, common seals, but in particular I'm here today to photograph grey seals. Uh, throughout November and December the grey seals come into land uh, to give birth to their pups and we're really lucky in Britain to have around 50% of the world's grey seal population. They'll stay here for a few weeks uh, whilst they're feeding um, and after the pup has been weaned the cow is immediately able to mate again. Uh, so there are a lot of bulls around as well. Um, I'm going to be photographing in two locations. One is on this beach, uh, which is wonderful. You can get down to eye level with the seals. Um, but I'm also going to do some photography from a boat. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge because the boat's going to be moving. Um, but we'll see what we capture and I'll catch up with you later. Adult male grey seals are called bulls, and females are called cows. Bulls can grow to around 7.5 feet or 2.5 metres long, and weigh between 170 and 310 kilos. That's up to 680 pounds or 48 stone. They can live up to 25 years. Cows are slightly smaller at around 6 foot or 1.7 metres, and they live longer, up to 35 years. Cows can weigh between 100 and 190 kilos. That's 420 pounds or 29 stone. Grey seals come ashore en masse for the pupping season, where the seal pups are born and nursed. Occasionally you will find a discarded placenta and nearby a newborn pup weighing around 14 kilos or 30 pounds with yellowish fur to start, quickly turning white within the first day. Cows will give birth to one pup per season and feed or suckle it for about 16 days. During this time, the female doesn't feed herself, but the pup will feed on an incredible amount of milk. Seal milk would taste disgusting to humans, as it's around 60% fat, whereas the cow's milk we put in our tea is just 1% fat. But this helps the pup to grow 2-3 to three kilos a day and build the fat reserves it needs to keep warm at sea the cow will lose about 65 kilos in her own weight during this time. It's important to try and get in as low a position as possible, partly because that will give you a much better chance of getting the seal's eye in focus, but also it puts you in the seal's world. If you take a photo of a seal lying down and you're standing up, it looks unnatural, whereas you're level with the seal or maybe even slightly above it, you're in the seal's world, you've got a seal's eye view and, and the, the photo looks much better. You also get a much better depth of field there um, and you can blur out the background a little bit. So much nicer picture. In order to do that, um, it helps to have something to lie on. You don't want to be lay down all day in uh, wet sand. Um, I use a camping mat um, and I have my camera on a platypod 
um, which is a flat piece of metal uh, that allows me to mount my gimbal to it so I can be really flexible in the way I use my camera. Um, so that's the best way to go about getting seal photos in my opinion. So I'm really pleased with the shots I got this morning. Um, reading the seal's behaviour allowed me to get responsibly close enough to get some really nice shots. Now I'm heading off to my second location of the day, which is out on the water, and I'm going to be taking some photos of seals from a boat. In a moment, I'll show you the photos I got from the sea. But whilst we're heading out there, I want to tell you about one of the great success stories of conservation in the UK. In the early 20th century, grey seal numbers in British shores dropped to just 500. They were hunted because people thought they ate vast amounts of cod and salmon, affecting the fishing industry. But this has since been disproven, and most of their diet is made up of sand eels. Since then, numbers have been increasing, and it's estimated there are now around 120,000 grey seals in UK waters. This is a fantastic result, and it means that we now have the greatest population of grey seals anywhere in the world. It means that vast numbers of grey seals visit our shorelines once again, and I would actively encourage you to get out and see a grey seal colony wherever you can. The grey seal pupping season happens at different times in different locations around the UK. In August and September, they visit the south coast, in particular Cornwall. From September through to October, you'll see them on the west coast, in particular Wales. In October and November, they haul up in remote Scottish islands. And in November and December, they visit the east coast, in particular Lincolnshire and Norfolk. Nobody quite knows why grey seals follow this itinerary, but if you can get to the coast, there's a six month window in which you'll be able to see them somewhere. Well, I really enjoyed today. I got a lot from it. I enjoyed both locations, both the beach and the boat. Photographing on a boat is a very different experience because you can't stabilise in any way. Even in body stabilisation is not going to do a lot there. All you can rely on is a fast shutter speed and accurate focusing. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the shots. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really helps YouTube to know that you enjoyed the video and that they can recommend it to other like-minded people. I also appreciate any subscriptions to the channel and it'll help me grow it and put out further content. Uh, in the meantime, you can head over to my website, walksonthewildside.co.uk, where there are prints available for sale and also check out my social media. But now I've got a long drive home, so I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.